Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, most merciful, most compassionate. All praise be to Allah. Peace and blessings be upon the Prophet Muhammad and all the prophets from Adam to him. Peace be upon them. The globe has been facing this outbreak, coronavirus. It is a test for all humanity. And this kind of test have been going on since the beginning of human creation. And after all, this world was created from the very beginning as a place of trial according to the Quran. When we look at Mevlana's teachings, he speaks about the severity of the tribulations that the prophets had gone through in the history. And he says, Assuredly, the true believer's essence, nature, soul, is like a porcupine, meaning this animal with a sharp erectile spines mingled with the hair. So a believer's true nature is like a porcupine. And this believer becomes strong and stronger through the blows of hardships and tribulations, through the beats, strikes, and kicks of hardships and tribulations. So, in other words, tri trials are there to make a believer strong and stronger. For this reason, Mevlana says, tribulation and trials experienced by the prophets is greater than all the creatures in the world. Here he is alluding the prophetic saying. And uh, uh, among the people, as we learn from the Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him, prophets were tested and tried most, meaning their hardship was the hardest faced by human beings. Then, right after them, those who were closer to them faced the, you know, hardships. So when we look at the his, uh, Quran, and also Mevlana speaks most of the trials of the prophets, but let us recall, and in brief, Adam and Eve's trial in the heaven, Abraham's trial in the fire, Joseph's trial in the well, and also in the prison, Moses' trial in the sea, Jesus' trial on, on the cross and also uh, with his people, Job's trial with the plague and severe disease for seven years, and Muhammad, peace upon him, trial, persecution with his own people in Mecca. So, since uh, the case of Job is important, has relevance uh, to our situation today, and I, will, I have chosen for you to share with you Mevlana's insights and reflections and thought in the case of Ayyub, Job, Prophet Job. Let us recall in brief uh, the desperate condition of the Prophet Job, Ayyub, when he had been afflicted with a plague which forced him to stay exactly as we are nowadays in self-isolation because of the fear of the contamination of his illness and others, to others. The only contact person for him was his wife. So Allah Almighty relates the story of Ayyub, Job, in two different places in the Quran. And now let me move on with the uh, interpretations and perspective of Mevlana Rumi. He says, Mevlana, of course, uh, Prophet Ayyub Job had suffered from this disease and ultimately he prayed and he never complained and uh, prayed to Allah constantly for recovery, which was granted to him in the end. So, Let us go one by one from the Mesnevin. He says, Job, Ayyub, was so patient and so well pleased and showed sweetness to Allah 
because Allah sent him a guest. Now he interprets the sickness, Ill, illness that was that afflicted, that was afflicted, uh, in, uh, and this was understood by Mevlana or entered by Mevlana, a guest from Allah. And he says, Job showed sweetness to Allah's guest during seven years in tribulation. And he endured his, this guest of Allah for seven years. He bore the seven year trial with perseverance without complaining about his condition. On the contrary, well pleased with it, knowing that it is Allah who was testing him for his perfection and patience. So he never complained about his guest. Then Mevlana goes on to the end that when the severe tribulation should turn back, it might give thanks, meaning when the trial was over, and since this came, this guest came as, uh, uh, to visit Ayyub, meaning the sickness, illness, and soon guest will leave. One day, or one, one day he will leave, sooner or later, and he will return home. So what counts in the end, how you treated this guest? Did he leave you well pleased? So you may give thanks to him in the presence of your Lord in a hundred fashions because of this trial. In the end, his stern tribulation brought him back to the normal life. And he thanked Allah Almighty profusely, saying, from love, Mevlana says, Job never for a moment looked sourly or disappointedly on me, meaning, of course, on God Almighty, Allah. And Allah Almighty told Ayyub, though many of your loved ones died, you never looked sourly and disappointed on me. You never gave up on me. And your loyalty was extremely magnificent, ex extremely touching. And, and also you felt embarrassed in the presence of Allah. And, and Mevlana says, so Job Ayyub was like a milk and honey towards this tribulation and illness. And thanks to his loyalty and gratitude, all his tribulation as if they were mixed with milk and honey. That's what Mevlana wants to say. So to everyone who suffers a tribulation, there is, Mevlana continues, a revealed, there is revealed a treasure. Everyone who makes an earnest endeavor comes in the end to his fortune. Whoever goes through such tribulation attains in the end a treasure. Whoever strives to work hard acquires his or her fortune. The Prophet has said that acts of bowing and prostration meaning, uh, uh, mean knocking the door ring to attain the blessings of God Almighty. So did you knock at his door? Your constant supplication, beseeching to Allah through your bowing ruku and prostration sujood will eventually let you in the presence of your Lord who will then respond to you. So the Prophet taught us humbly bow down before the divine and prostrate before him with all humility, knock at his portal with sincere and heartfelt calls, supplications. He surely responds to you. And he says, Mevlana again, when anyone continues to knock that door ring, felicity pops up, peeps out for his sake. Whoever keeps on knocking the divine portal, surely salvation comes to him. Let me again stress one more time. For Mevlana, it's not easy to become a true human, a human in the end that is loved, by God Almighty, Allah Almighty, unless he's being tested and tried. Therefore, he says, in this world, no one is free of sorrow. And if there is one, he says, he may not be human. So everyone has a problem at different, different levels, at different magnitude. But you cannot imagine a human without a sorrow, without a pain, without a problem. After all, God Almighty, Allah Almighty created pain and sorrow for the purpose. 
in the end, happiness might be made manifest by means of this opposite. Pain, he says, is a treasure, for there are mercies in the pain. And wherever a pain, the cure goes there. Wherever there is a poverty, provision, sustenance goes there. Wherever a difficult question, answer goes there. And wherever a sheep, water goes there. Then do not seek water. First, you should get thirsty. Then water will gush forth. And of course, Mevlana here alludes to the verse of the Quran. With this verse and meaning, I would like to conclude today's moral teaching from Mevlana. This is actually Surah Furqan 25, verse number 77. Allah says, very clear, says, of course, saying the Prophet Muhammad upon him, my Lord would not care for you were it not for your prayer. Meaning, if you have no supplication, what is the significance of you in the sight of Allah? If you have no prayer, no attachment, no loyalty to Allah, He would not attach any importance to you. And meaning you are very insignificant in the sight of Allah without your devotion to Him. So what we learn from story Ayyub, or Job, and all the other prophets' trials, that you should know how to knock at the door of Allah Almighty. And no one is free from pain. Pain is part of our life and trial. It is important how to face the trial and how to treat this trial as a guest, as Mevlana says. And we pray that we, have, we will go through this struggle, this trial as humanity successfully. And in the end, with the efforts of our scientists and the doctors, physicians, experts, and also with the grace of Allah Almighty, this humanity will come to felicity by finding the solution to it. And may Allah Almighty keep all of us in good health and highest moral. I leave you in his care, in his good care. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon you all.